Peace, everybody. It's the coolest legend, the cool, the DJ, the better. Da- 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 everybody know me for doing my thing on WBLS, but right now, I'm going to take you on a ride. This is off mic. I remember the first time I went to a college campus that was a couple doors down from the high school I went to up in the Bronx, Stephen Cullen High School. I went over to Lehman College, and in the cafeteria, I saw this guy had this equipment at the cafeteria, and he was playing records. And I was inspired by that. Before you know it, I was sneaking downtown to the early discos, you know, and I was catching the bug. Later on, coming uptown in the Bronx, who I see, the person who really started off with hip hop, my man Cool Herc. Being under Africa Bambada, all my universal zoo nation, this is before it became popular, the hip hop culture. We was always playing in little hole in the walls in the centers. We was traveling to us, we felt like we was being big by traveling out the Bronx by going to Jersey or going to Connecticut or going out to Long Island. As you know, I got involved with my man, best in peace, Scott LaRock, you know, and I knew him for a long period of time. He was forming Boogie Down Production. He had me become a part of it. And that was going on during the Bridge War where it was going against uh, Marley, uh, Marley Ma and MC Shan. As far as the violators are concerned, that all established under my behalf at Union Square, started around 76, when there was a handful of guys that I know they was all coming around me. And you know, we just formulate ourselves, as I call them the violators because of certain things they were doing, but they carry that name so well. And one of the members of the violators became a successful businessman. Rest in peace, Chris Lighty, that we used to call Baby Chris. Respect to my team, Team Red, got me to have a exhibit being displayed of my archives and stuff that is quote unquote vintage from my beginning stages on up, you know, so it's an honor. I had some custom turntables, you're going to see some pictures, some of my records, just come on through and you'll find out. So when I get a chance to get on the set and play and I see the reaction according to how I play, that fulfill me, that make me keep going. And I feel that, you know, I can do as long as possible. I think that there's no limitation. To me, DJs is like a musician. You have musicians that have been playing their instrument for years and years. We can DJ for years and years, no matter what. Don't have no certain time limit as far as age or anything. It's what you feel. Happy Black History Month, man. Hey, remember, we come a long way. We still got a long way to go. We got to preserve what we have.